and welcome back. So today I'm here with my friend Becky, who you all probably know from her YouTube channel Talk by Talk or just from being in my videos quite a lot, especially in my vlogs. She kind of hangs holidays, around, holidays, house. all that jazz. Um, so today we are doing a tag video and we invented this tag video last night over text message when we were about to fall asleep. We're like, what should we do? Bedtime tag, obviously. So I've got nine questions here. The first question is what which, which, what are your favourite pyjamas, basically? I have actually got my Christmas ones, which I'm not letting go of because they're so comfy. These are my Primark ones. You have these as well, don't I you? I have the ones with the gingerbread on them. They're so good. And then the, my gingerbread man t-shirt, which is just That's amazing. So cute. I know, this I is also it. from Primark and it is just so it's cool. So I love gingerbread man, even no matter what time of the year it is, I love it. I'm hoping it's not unlucky to wear Christmas stuff. And then my socks, which are from Bath and Body Works. They do the best cozy socks. I can't even explain how soft these are. My pyjamas are a mix match of things. I've had these for about 10 years. Wow. They are... They've got little zebras on them. Yeah, they've got zebras and flowers on them. They are so cosy. My sister bought these for me for my birthday. I think it must have been like my 18th. They're so stretched out. They're like, <laughs> they're stretchy at the back as well. They're massive. The PJs are meant to be yeah, like that. So yeah. comfy to wear. They're really lightweight. So I wear them more in the summer, but they are just the most comfy, like wide leg, loungy PJs. My favorite pajama top is one from ASOS. Mike has ironed this. Mike irons pajamas. If you iron pyjamas, let me know in the comment section below because I find it really bizarre and Mike does it and I always tell him off. I'm like, don't um, iron my pyjamas because you're wasting your time because I don't mind. My mum irons socks. It's like, that is over the why? top. Why? That is, that is, <laughs> that is extreme. Um, but anyway, this is my favourite pyjama top because it says La Belle Fleur on it because oh. obviously Fleur is my name um, and I really like the colour as well. This is meant to be just a t-shirt but for some reason I just wear it as pyjamas. I might wear it as just a normal t-shirt sometimes too. Next question is your current bedtime read. Mine is, I knew you were gonna say this, The Little Book of Mindfulness. And I read this before I go to bed because it's basically meant to calm you, just kind of teaches you how to breathe, like breathe and smile. And then it's kind of, I know this sounds really this weird. This is so but you. This before, <laughs> like before I go to bed, I just I think about everything, and I get really stressed and I like can't get out of my head about the most stupid things. And reading this book is all about like, leaving the past in the past, like dealing with everything. And it's deep, quite like deep. deep stuff. It's not like, you know, light reading. My one is actually a brand new book and I've only read like three pages of this so far. I've read like the introduction or whatever. Um, and it's called The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. It was in the bestseller section in Tesco's when I was shopping the other day. Ooh. And I thought the cover looked interesting. So I read the back and I thought that sounds really interesting. And I don't know, it could be rubbish. It's a Sunday Times bestseller, so it might be good. Could be rubbish as well, so don't take my word for it. What is on your bedside table in a general, like, general day, haven't tidied up, look over to your bedside table, what is on there? Okay, I feel like I have to close my eyes for this long, so I'm just imagining it. Fairy light. I've got a candle. I'm always burning a candle. Um, a jewelry little thing. And then I have a couple of things that I always have to hand. And one of the things I'm keeping at the moment right next to me is this, you bought me this, Camel and Oak Sleeping Beauty Cream. I know we're gonna talk about products, but I have this literally on the side of my table. This I literally just put like on, on your around boobs. here. Kind of top boob. So what's that called there? What's the on my bedside table? Net boob cream. Boob cream. And then I have like my phone and I usually have a to-do list as well. Oh, and earplugs. I cannot sleep without earplugs and an eye mask. mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I say, you always have an eye mask. Yeah. I have a candle which I don't actually burn that often. It's a really strong smelling one. And most of the time I can just smell it without burning, which is great because I fall asleep at the drop of a hat, as you know. I usually have a hand cream, a couple of hand creams at the moment because I'm quite into a few of them. And I have like an overnight, I usually have like a face oil and like an overnight eye cream. Because what I do is I like to take my makeup off in the bathroom and like brush my hair and all that jazz. And then I like to put the oil on when I'm in bed for some reason. Mm. I feel like because you can then like lie and get your hair and out of the way and it doesn't get oily. And then I also have a lip balm or a lip mask and a, usually a book. And then also yeah. to-do list. I brought this down especially. This is my notebook at the moment. Um, it's got oh, sausage dogs on it. It's from Mike's mum when we got Piglet. It's cute, isn't it? And I also have my favourite pen to go with it. That which is amazing. It's like the best pen ever. <laughs> Next question is favourite sleepy scent. Uh, my sleepy scent at the moment, again, you got me this. My chamomile and bergamot. Bergamot. Pillow mist. Um, 
it smelled, I just sprayed it a while ago. This came as a set, didn't it? Like yeah, it came as a set. whole set with an eye mask, earplugs, earplugs and I spray mm. this on my pillow and it's so, so relaxing. So my favourite sleepy scent at the moment is quite an indulgent one, but this is honestly, you're going to smell this and die. Well, I hope, <laughs> I hope you don't actually die. Um, <laughs> this is from Erin and it's called Amber Musk. And this is one of their perfumes, which a lot of the Erin perfumes are quite floral and I'm not a big floral girl and I had never smelt this one until I got the cream. And I got it as a gift and it is a really rich, have a little bit on there, Ooh. a really rich body cream. And I know it seems very, very indulgent to use a body cream before bed, but I think that's when you smell it the most. Like if you've had a nice Ugh. bath, I just love putting on a really lovely I body, use body cream. I before I go to Yeah, bed. and it's so nice. It's like, I love the the smell. I just really, I also sometimes spray perfume on before I go to bed because I really like smelling it. Sometimes I get a really thick body butter and lather like it all over and then I sleep in a onesie. So it's like, <laughs> Like a onesie a soak, mask a body soak. for your body. Is that really weird? But it, I wake up in the morning, I'm so soft. The next question is what is your usual bedtime slash wake up time? And or and wake up time. Oh, this is a thrown me. If I had the choice, <laughs> I would <laughs> get up at half eight, nine. On average, I think I'd probably go to bed at half twelve, one, which is really not very good. Because someone told me you get most of your sleep between like 11 o'clock at night and six in the morning. Yeah, I usually go to sleep between 12 and half 12, sometimes a bit earlier, sometimes a bit later, depends on what I've got on, and then I usually wake up. I'm quite bad, like, I prefer to have something, like, to wake up for, and wake up at six o'clock, get everything done really early. I, like, really like getting up early. Usually I will get up between seven and half seven. So the next question is top three bedtime products. First of all, lip mask, which I have become obsessed with. It's, like, <laughs> orangey, but almost, it has like, it's, it's like, like a, it's um, meant to be honey. Yeah. It definitely doesn't smell of honey. It doesn't smell it's of honey. It's orangey. This, honestly, I can't get enough of it. And I've got it on today. I put it on last night. I sleep in this every single night. I get really chapped lips. My favourite lip mask is the Bite oh, I love um, that Agave lip mask. Have you got this? I haven't now. I've lost it. We bought it at the same time. Yeah, you know what is really tricky though? It's like you have to squeeze it really hard and to get like it out. Quite thick. And I also think, look, you see the bottom. I think it's going to like split open yeah. or something. It's not good. I don't like the packaging, but the actual product is really, really nice. Next up is a concentrate oil. I used to freak out about oils because I get really greasy skin. I get combination skin actually now, so it's dry and greasy. Um, and I use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. It smells of lavender, and I know this always divides people because when I've talked about it before, yeah, like, a lot of people say don't use lavender. It's irritant, but I get quite sensitive skin. I get problem skin, so I get spots. I get greasy patches, I get dry patches, and honestly, I have had no problem with this, and I swear by it. Talking of lavender, my other bedtime products that I love using is the Aromatherapy Associates Bath Oil. These are amazing. They actually last a really, really long mm. time because you only need a tiny bit. And this is the lavender and peppermint. It just smells like really lavendery. And they're, they're like very lavender. strong to smell, but like if you put like a capful or two capfuls in your bath, it just makes the whole room smell, carries through to my bedroom, it just makes that kind of, it's just like sleepy mm. atmosphere. Good stuff. My last one's an eye mask by Elemis. It's their absolute eye mask, and I'm not very good really with want to try that. eye creams. It's so good. This is one. I, I'm not really an eye product person. I'm really bad with using eye creams, and this is the only thing that I bother to repurchase when I run out. My final favourite product. I've spoken about this quite a lot recently, but this stuff is honestly you're gonna love the smell of this. It's the Aveda hand relief. I literally tried this Have three you? days ago in one of the. Places. Isn't it amazing? It's the Night Renewal Serum, which yeah. you don't need to use it at night, it's basically like a hand cream. It smells so good and it's like so <gasps> nourishing for your hands, it's like a real treat. Every time I put oh. it on, I'm like, mmm. <laughs> the next question is your most common sleeping position. If we were to walk into your bedroom, how would you be sleeping? Upside down like a vampire. On my side, um, and I have to have a pillow next to me, and my quilt is all tucked around me. To you. Have a pillow next to me so I don't feel alone. On the inside. When I was a kid, I used to sleep with a giant cuddly toy over me because so I was so afraid of the dark. On so, top of you? Yeah, on top. I had Big Dan, which is a dog. That I sounds my, so wrong. Like, <laughs> Big Dan used to lie on top of me when I was a child at night. That's so dodgy, isn't it? My parents must be yes. like, oh dear. I wake up on my back, so it's on my side, and then I sleep on the left hand side of the bed. I don't As sleep you're in the looking middle. at the bed. As you're looking at the bed, I'm on the right hand side. Okay. And I'm always 
like pencil and I don't move. I actually sleep on the left hand side of the bed as you're looking at. I used to sleep on the right hand side. Then when I started going out with Mike, Mike's like, I sleep on that side. So you have to sleep on the other side. So now I sleep on the other side. And I am usually, I usually sleep on my side, I think. Sometimes I sleep on my front mm. with my arms in the air. <laughs> and if I'm on my own, I sleep with my head under the duvet. Amazing. Do you not suffocate? No, I get. I like, I like it because I feel a bit more like protected. I don't know. I'm just That's really like weird. me and my big dad. <laughs> You're big dad. Big dad. Um, <laughs> this is we kind of ruined it. Any strange bedtime routines? Um, yes, my um, I've got my worry dolls, and these are so nineties. So nineties. So Each night, I just tell one of them my worry like whatever I'm worried about, pop it in the bag and then I put it under my pillow and I go to sleep and I know it sounds really weird but it just helps me and I used to do it when I was a kid and they're so cute, it's just like psychologically if you just put it in a bag, put it under your pillow, they'll deal with the situation, <laughs> not you. I don't really have any weird routines but I get really weird when I get woken up. So when I was a kid a few times, like my brother, I'd fallen asleep on the sofa and my brother came and woke, woke me up and he was like, Fleur, Fleur, there's a spider on your head and I literally went mental. I was like, ah, I started running around the room like totally crazy and I've woken up like swearing at my brother and sister for when they're trying, like, F off, leave me alone. Like, like I totally totally weird. Weird. The final question is, are you Little Spoon or Big Spoon? I am Big Spoon. I'm Big Spoon as well, but I don't but want to be. You're Little Spoon when I'm with you. I'm Little Spoon when I'm allowed to be. Basically, Mike doesn't like spooning, so I have to like <laughs> attack him. I'm like, cuddle him from behind, and I am Big Spoon. When we were on the plane once, we shared like this thing, and we were like trying yeah. to spoon each other <laughs> to fit in. It was like one of those seats where the, where the yeah. footrest comes up, so you have like a single bed. Yeah. So me and Becky were on an 11 hour flight back yeah. from LA in a single bed. And you basically. were Little Spoon. Yeah. I was we like, got some sleep though. Yeah, we got we so much like, sleep. We were like, right, I'm, set it out, earplugs, eye mask, spooning, sleep. I'm Big Spoon because I don't like people touching me, so I'm, I'm such a light sleeper. If someone literally went like that, I'm wide awake and I can't get back to sleep. So Big Spoon is better because you can hug someone for as much as you want and to. And then you can back And then off. you can sleep. So yeah, love it. That is it for the bedtime tag. We're going to tag a few people. I think we should tag Tarty because we yes. haven't seen her in ages. Nikki Philippi, let's tag. Um, Ingrid, Estee and Amelia, Helen and Becca, yeah, Becca. Holly, um, and uh, in the fro, and Sammy from Beauty Crush, and Jen's backyard, obviously, and everybody else that we have forgotten, we will just put in the info bar below. Lily and Anna, and Lily and Anna, and Ruth, yeah, and Ruth, and everyone. We tag everyone to do this because <laughs> we want to know your weird bedtime secrets. Um, we will see you again very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already seen Becky's channel we are filming a top 10 top 10 we already filmed it i just had a total brain bank <laughs> top 10 mac products over on her channel so go and check that out if you want to know what our top mac products are and we will see you again very soon bye hey guys so it's currently 5 30 in the morning hence i look a little bit sleepy but today i'm filming a get ready with me for my second ever book signing in Sheffield. So I'm gonna wash and condition my hair using my Schwarzkopf shampoo and my L'Oreal conditioner. And I'm also going to wash my-